What's up guys, War here. Welcome back to another leveling guide for you for Diablo 4 at the start of launch. We have a bunch of leveling guides that we are bringing to you before the, the release date of Diablo 4. So I really do hope you guys enjoy this one. Today we are going to be going over our Barb Whirlwind Super Speedy Flash build. Um, this leveling build is going to be pretty insane, guys, when you really think at the, the wide scale of how much you're going to be berserking in your speed increase. It's going to be nuts. Um, so I'm really actually really excited to play this one and test this one out. But before we get into everything, guys, two things. We're, there is going to be a Google Doc spreadsheet with it, all of the leveling skills that you need to take as you're continuing to level up. It's just a blueprint and a guide for you. You can obviously mix and match however you need to, but it's just a preset guide that we're going to have for you if you want to follow it. And then as well as our aspects, guys, just as a reminder, we have codexes here. So everything that we have is a codex, which is a legendary power that you can get from a dungeon so you're guaranteed to get these at the lowest percentage as an example here you would get a uh, relentless berserker at 22 percent instead of 40 but you are guaranteed the legendary which is why we have these which will really help out the build any other additional legendaries that you get that would be beneficial to the build you just got to hope that you find them uh and yeah so let's get right into the skill tree and just kind of break <coughs> excuse me everything down for this build i'm actually very excited about this we made this to with uh my community here on youtube guys big shout out to them for helping me make uh the, all these level guides it's been an absolute blast and we're just we're just making as much stuff in theory crafting a bunch of stuff that we can to just help everybody out so let's go ahead and get into this um so this build here guys is all about whirlwinding Okay, we are going to have Whirlwinding be doing pretty much everything. And our three shouts are going to be on perma cooldown or very, very close to cooldown. Okay, so we are going to be berserking and we're going to have our cooldowns and our shouts be up nonstop. Okay, so starting off, we're doing lunging strike. Lunging strike, I think, is probably one of the best basics for barbarians, um, although Flay is very, very strong. So we're doing Lunging Strike to help with the distance because you lunge, for lunge forwards. So you close the gap on your enemies uh, into Enhanced so that way we get some health back. And then we do Combat Lunging so when we crit, we get Berserking for 1.5 seconds. So with this build, we're going to be pretty much in Berserk no matter what, but this just helps with it. We're not doing Bleeding, so otherwise Battle Lunging is very strong. Then we're coming down and we're taking Whirlwind, guys, of course. Enhanced Whirlwind to get more Fury. And then we're doing Violent Whirlwind. So after we Whirlwind for two seconds, we deal 30% increased damage until we are done. So this is very, very strong. Um, the, Fur the Furious Whirlwind, it just doesn't work. If you're doing Bleeding Builds, then this is leaning that. But we want overall max damage here. We got Pressure Point, guys, on a lucky hit. Our core skills have a chance to make enemies vulnerable. Okay, this is huge. This has just helps us deal even more damage. And when you're Whirlwinding... You're going to have so many opportunities to proc your lucky hit. We should make a lot of enemies vulnerable just all the time. Then we got three points into Endless Fury. Our basic skills generate more fury when we're using a two-handed weapon. I do want to note for this build, we are going to be using a bludgeoning weapon on Whirlwind. So just keep that in mind as we continue to go through the skill tree here. Uh, and with Lunging Strike, we're going to be using a two-hand. So we'll be able to constantly get the extra fury from that. Now, what is a Barbarian build without shouts? I would say almost every Barbarian build, uh, besides maybe a Thorns, Ground Stomp, stuff like that, is going to incorporate two, if not three, shouts. So, of course, we're going to have Rally and Cry. This gives us a huge movement speed bonus of 30%, um, plus a resource generation up to 40% um, for six seconds. We get Unstoppable. This is great for crowd control because we really struggle with that because we're going to be so close. Then we get even more Fury um, as it generates uh, 20 Fury for us, and then we get another 20% resource generation so this actually goes up to uh about a 60 percent resource gen which is insane then we have challenging shot to give us some damage reduction against the enemies we gained 20 percent max life so we're super tanky and then while it's active we gain three fury every time we take damage we're going to be whirlwinding up co up close so enemies are going to hit us so we're going to gain more fury and then we're going to be able to constantly whirlwind non-stop we should never be able to not whirlwind uh, then we're going to come down and we're grabbing, of course, Warcry. This is the main shout that we have in this build. Okay. Shout is going to give us, or excuse me, the Warcry is going to give us more damage. But this is the main thing, Enhanced Cry. When we Warcry, we Berserk for four seconds. Berserking is going to give us 25% more damage 
and then 50% move speed. So we're going to be berserking all the time. You're going to keep that in mind. We're going to, I'm going to show you why we're going to be berserking nonstop in just a second. Then we have power war cry. As long as there's six enemies nearby, when we hit our war cry, we gain 10% um, bonus damage. Now, if you really wanted to, you could have fortify if you felt like you were, you know, a little squishy, but you shouldn't be with this build. So just go with power war cry. Next, we have booming voice max this out. So our shouts last even longer. So our durations are increased by another 24%. Then we have Raid Leader, which is going to give us a little sustain. Our shouts heal uh, allies for 1% of their maximum life. This is good. And then our shouts cause enemies to deal 4% less damage for 5 seconds. This is also great. little damage reduction. Then we have Leap. I really like Leap here. However, I do want to note, even though we're going to be able to have Berserk nonstop, if you guys really don't feel like Leap is for you, then you could definitely do Wrath of the Berserker if you want to have an ultimate. We don't need an ultimate in this build, but you could take this. So we have leap. We leap forward and deal a crap ton of damage and knock back enemies. Uh, if we don't hit any enemies, our cooldown is reduced by 4 seconds to 13. And then power leap, as long as we hit one enemy, we generate 40 fury. This is good for us to be able to start off whirlwinding. Then we have aggressive resistance. We gain 9% damage reduction while berserking. Remember, I said we're going to be in berserking nonstop. Next, we have Swiftness. We max this out for more move speed. So remember, while we have Berserking, we gain 15% move speed. This increases us by 12. So now we're 27% more move speed. It's just awesome. We're going to be very fast. And then we have Quick Impulses to reduce crowd control effects by 6%. Then we're going to come down here and check out the rest of our passives. We have Pit Fighter, so we deal more damage against close enemies, which is always going to happen. We get the damage reduction from range enemies, which is really nice. Um, we have no mercy max so we have a nine percent increased critical strike chance against immobilized stun or slowed we're going to be stunning a lot of people or immobilizing them so this is really good and then we have three points in slaying strike so we deal 24 percent increased damage against injured enemies if you guys don't remember injured enemies is enemies who have 35 percent of their life or less so this is just a really good way to close out fights or against uh, elites and bosses then we have one point in Tempered Fury. So we just get three more Fury, but that's okay. We just took that so we could get one point in Invigorating Fury. This is our main sustain. We have the one up here for our allies, but now we have one for us. We heal 3% of our max life for each 100 Fury spent. We're going to be able to constantly spend 100 Fury, so you're going to get a lot of life back. Then we have Heavy Handed. While using a two-handed weapon, we deal 15% increased critical strike damage. We're always going to be uh, whirlwinding and fighting with two-handed weapons. And then we have Wallop. Our skills using a bludgeoning weapon deal 15% increased damage if the enemy is stunned or vulnerable. So we're going to be able to stun them. We're going to be able to make them vulnerable. And now we're going to be berserking. But the key ability right here is unconstrained. Increase berserk's minimum duration by 5 seconds and its damage bonus by 25%. So when we shout... For four seconds, we're berserking. Now we berserk for nine seconds. And that 25% damage increase goes to 50. So we deal a crap ton more damage while we are berserking. But it does get better. Okay. Now let's go check out our gears and skills. So starting off, we have our expertise here. We're going to take two-handed axe. So we deal 15% increased damage to vulnerable enemies, and we have a 10% increased critical strike chance against them. So this is really good. A lot of the expertise are really determined on what we're doing, but I still feel that two-handed axes is probably the best one that the Barbarian has, depending on what you're trying to do. So now let's look at our glyphs here, or our legendary aspects. So we have Relentless Berserker Aspect. On a lucky hit... Damaging an enemy with a core skill, which is our whirlwind, we have a chance to extend berserking by one more second. So remember, if we shout, we shout for four seconds. Our unconstrained gives us five more, and then this is going to give us one more and then two more if we crit. So we'll be berserking for 10 seconds or 11 seconds all the time. Then we have Aspect of Bulkathos. This is just an add one. This one is not required. It's just something else that is really cool. Because when you leap, you create an earthquake where you deal more damage. Uh, and if we stand in the earthquake, we get a damage reduction. This is just kind of something else that just adds to the build if you have it. But I don't recommend having this one if you absolutely need it. Now, Aspect of the Dire Whirlwind is a big one for this build. 
Whirlwind's critical strike chance is increased by 10 up to 10% for each second it's channeled up to 40%. So while we're whirlwinding, we're going to have up to a 40% chance to crit, which is crazy. Then we have Wind Striker's aspect where critical strikes grant um, an increased move speed. So not only has our critical strike chance gone way up, if we happen to get the maximum here, we have 16% more move speed for one second up to six. So now remember, we, we get 15% move speed from Warcry or from Berserking. Then we get 30% from Rallying Cry. Then we get another 12% from Swiftness. So already we're at 42 plus 15. So right now we're at 57% move speed. And that is before we crit. And then critical strikes. Each time we get up to 16% more move speed. So we could have on the high end up to a 100% move speed with this build. And then we're just going to be whirlwinding and destroying everything. It's absolutely insane when you think about the possibilities. Now we have Aspect of Echoing Fury. This one is very important. Our shouts generate two to four fury uh, per second while active. So we have three shouts. Each shout lasts for six seconds. Um, but remember, we have Booming Voice. So our shout skill or our, scout, our shout effects last longer. But this is just the duration, so don't mix that up. So it's only for six seconds, but still up to four fury by three different shouts for six seconds is a lot of fury for us to be able to continue whirlwinding. Okay. Then our last uh, aspect that we have is veterans brawler. Each time a core skill, which is our whirlwind deals direct damage to an enemy, our charge, our next charge or leap does increase damage up to 300%. So in reality, you could leap for 333% damage, which is kind of cool when you leap into a big mob and you want to whirlwind and kill them. Now, I do want to note here that there is an aspect for the Barbarian, which you are going to need that is legendary, okay? So this shout right here, Bold Chieftain's Aspect, this is going to be the legendary that you're hunting for. And the only reason I'm mentioning it in the video is because we mentioned Perma Cooldown on our shouts so this reads whenever you cast a shout skill its cooldown is reduced by up to 5.4 seconds per nearby enemy up to a maximum of 12 seconds so let's think about this if we happen to get onto the maximum of 12 seconds right we have three shouts so if we can get a 12 second cooldown from each shout, that's 36 second cooldown towards our shouts. Our shout cooldown is only 25 seconds, which means that when we pop all three, they're gonna come right back up instantly. Then we're gonna pop them again. So as long as we have multiple enemies around us to be able to get as much cooldown as possible, you're going to have perma uptime on your shouts. And remember, the main one that we want is war cry up at all times so that way we are nonstop berserking. So this means as long as we can have perma uptime, we are berserking for 11 seconds all the time. And then we have at a minimum a 57% move speed increase up to a over 100% move in speed increase. It is absolutely insane how fast that this build can be. It's crazy. This is pending that all my math and stuff is correct and how all these powers intertwine. I know there's going to be some people in the comments that are that may correct me on some things, but how this stuff reads, this is exactly how it would work. Now for our gems, this is a cool thing that they added to d4builds.gg. These are the gems that you're going to be generally using inside of each of your weapons each of your gear pieces and then each of your uh, jewelry slots for the barbarian we're doing emerald for critical strike damage against vulnerable enemies then we're doing armor i think this is ruby's probably the best one that you always take for max life and then you have diamond for all resist although you can always do skull for more armor but with a barb you don't need that you need all resist so that is the build guys 
I think this build is going to be absolutely insane. It's going to be super fast, super strong. And you get to whirlwind. So spin to win is here, guys. Spin to win is back. We're back, baby. So, yeah, guys. Like the video if you guys have enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments what do you guys think about this uh, super fast, super speedy, whirlwinding build for the Barbarian that you can use to level up inside of your Diablo 4 uh, launch. Uh, comment down below. Let me know. Uh, subscribe if you guys are new. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.